Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness, and many, many blessings to you and your families. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. Anything the enemy stole from you is being returned to you as we speak. Any evil or negative plan of the enemies against you and your loved ones are being dismantled immediately and permanently. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. We have the Four of Pentacles followed by the Knight of Swords out here. Absolutely, someone has trapped themselves in some type of action they took. Someone took some type of immediate action. It's like they wanted to bring you problems, but now they have problems, right? It's like someone thought they had it all figured out. They said, I don't want peace. I want problems always. And your ancestors said, bring it on. You are on the same frequency as we are on right now when it comes to this matter. You want problems? We want problems. You want a battle? We want a war? Let's go. Let's let's go. Okay? I'm telling you, they wanted a war, so your ancestor bur ancestors brought the heat. Okay? This could be a toxic couple, toxic group, some type of COVID-like mentality. Just some type of toxic mindset of people. They want to keep something that does not belong to them. These are greedy people right trying to hold on to something but they cannot they may want to come in and give someone less than what they deserve or what belongs to them and it's not happening they're gonna have to walk away it's just not happening okay someone wants to i'm telling you they're gonna have to fix it someone wanted to take some type of rash action to come in and confront you you know maybe even mislead you confuse you manipulate you they cannot they're being sat down okay someone wanted to come in and give like breadcrumb you basically say hey i know you were left two million dollars but we have you know twenty five thousand to give you what do you say let's make peace and seal on the karma waters and your ancestors are looking at them like did this mother effort just say what i think he said I, I hope not. I hope not. Like, do you know that $2 million was supposed to restore our bloodline? Like, this person was incarnated just for this reason, to restore our bloodline. And you think we're about to sit back and let you take all $2 million and give them $25,000? I bet not. I think not. You have us all the way effed up. We're going to fix this situation for you. I'm telling you, they're coming in to breadcrumb you. Don't accept any offer from them. If they want to play dumb, make it legal. I'm telling you, there are a group of people fighting behind the scenes because everything they've been doing is exposed. They thought they got away with something. They stole something. They stole an inheritance. They stole some money. Stole a property. It's been exposed. They're fighting amongst themselves because they have legal issues coming in. They thought they got away with something, but they did not. Problems. Problems. Okay? There's a lot of characters involved. So we're not even going to focus on the energies we're seeing here. If we see a king of, cups, king of wands, queen of cups, queen of wands, there's a lot of people involved in here. It's not just one person. It's not just two people. It's a whole group. That collaborated together to steal from someone. I'm telling you, this five of wands keeps appearing at the bottom. This was absolutely a group collaboration. Family members, friends, co-workers, frannies, anything else you can think of, all were involved in this matter. Okay? They were involved in stealing your abundance, your new beginning. These are all thieves, greedy people. Someone, someone just thought they had it all figured out. He said, hey, we can go in and offer her less than what she deserves or less than what he deserves and we'll get away with this. They were told to be practical, but they did not. Whoever this King of Pentacles is that was wanting to come in and breadcrumb you, gaslight you, mislead you, manipulate you, he cannot. He's been sat down. He said, uh-uh, we don't have time for this. This is over. Okay? Whatever you're planning to do, you just refuse to grow the heck up. But what you are going to do is keep that childishness to yourself over there. Don't bring it over to our child over here. We're good on that. Okay? Someone thought they had it all figured out. That King of Pentacles, he thought he had it all figured out, but he does not. 
He wanted to come in and make it look like he was advocating for you, supporting you, but he is not. Absolutely not. Your ancestors are guiding you to do something, to take some type of action, and you better take that action and move, 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 okay? And this may have to do with a Ten of Pentacles, someone stole some type of position, some type of property, not just someone, a group of people, but there's a head of this group, okay? He, she told people, hey, if you help me, prevent this person from receiving what's theirs i'll give you this position if you help me prevent this person from getting what's theirs i'll give you this money you'll have this bonus every year you'll have this amount of incentive every year you know people that are higher ups in companies they care about their bonuses more than they care about the employees in the company okay so they will reduce employee pays or employee raises whereas you used to get a dollar a year for raises you start getting 25 cents here 15 cents there meanwhile the higher ups in the companies are getting three thousand dollars ten thousand dollars for nothing for simply sitting on their lazy behinds doing nothing while the small guys are suffering at the bottom of the food chain and these greedy heifers are living at large it's all coming to an end. Greedy heifers. Didn't I just say that? The greedy heifers. It's all coming to an end. It's over. This is clarity. Whoever was confused about this situation, this is clarity for you. Your time is up. Every single one of you, your time is up. Okay? So whatever bread crumbing offer you are coming in with, Mr. Pentacles, to the star sea, you, you, you might as well just sit down. Stay where you are because it's not going to work. They know you're coming. You know you're coming. Your partners in crime know you're coming. Everybody knows you're coming. And everybody knows what your intentions are. So just stay where you are. You might as well just stay. Okay? You have ulterior motives. Ulterior motives. It, it, <laughs> you, you all think whoever you're going towards does not know why you're coming, why you're being sent. They know. They knew before you know. I'm telling you, you're trying to force your way into this person's life. Just a, oh, I've been working really hard to bring this to your attention. Say, so, uh, excuse me, I know what you're trying to do. You're manipulative as heck. You have ulterior motives. Okay, you're trying to trap someone into a situation they don't want any parts of. You don't even want any parts of your situation. You're coming in to cause solutions. I just saw the Seven of Cups. You're coming in to cause solutions trying to make it seem that you chose this person over some other option this you didn't choose this person this person didn't choose you either i'm telling you everybody know this tower is coming in it's a fall from grace for every single one of you you've had your run you've had your time now it's up this is it like michael jackson said this is it okay this is it your reign is over and this is divine intervention we don't have time source is over it Sources that I've been patient with these people enough for a long time. I can't do it anymore. It's time. Get rid of them. They won't grow up. They won't heal. They don't want to do the work. They're not listening. I keep guiding them to do the right thing. They won't do it. They still want to cause confusions. Be manipulative. Come in and gaslight people. I'm telling you, there's a king of pentacles that's not about to be having a good time. Nope. Wants to come in and bribe you. Cannot. Someone wants to come in and breadcrumb you. This is what I said, right? They want to come in and breadcrumb you. They think you're a queen of cups, so you're foolish. You're naive. You're gullible. They can come in and just make you any offer and you're going to fall for it. And it's like, uh, no, that's not how that works. Nope, 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 nope. We want what's ours. The full, the fullness of it. We want all of it. We don't want no breadcrumb. We don't want nothing less than what we deserve. We want it all. We want it all. We want to be what we're supposed to be. We want what belongs to us in, in its entirety. Well, you all know I'm not a singer, so I just do it for entertainment. We want what belongs to us in its entirety. Nothing more, nothing less. Well, if you want to give us more... We're not going to complain, but we're absolutely not settling for less, okay? So all this bribery you've been doing behind the scenes, um, okay, I, I guess you had the money to waste, 
whether you do or don't do anymore, that's your business. But what you will not be doing is coming in and breadcrumbing in and star seeding. We want what's ours. Pay up. Okay? Someone is about to be losing their job. They're about to be losing their job because they were bribing people behind the scenes to make things go in their favor. This is a king of pentacles in the reverse. Someone is so selfish and feels so entitled to what does not belong to them, they can't see straight. They have a problem with your complexion being in a certain level of life, certain social class. It's a few people in a group here that has some type of superiority complex because of their complexion. And these are a bunch of airheads walking around. Can't tell you the difference between their upper hole and the bottom hole. Don't know no difference. Okay? These people can't tell you what they ate yesterday for breakfast, let alone can they tell you anything about a business contract. All they know how to do is manipulate and pay people behind the scenes to make things go in their favor. These are people that practice dark magic but cannot manifest anything in their life naturally. They have to manipulate. They have to deceive. Because what? They don't have any of the natural qualities to manifest anything abundant sincerely abundant in their lives so they have to steal somebody stole a group of people stole they stole something and it's been taken from them and everybody knows because they've been connecting to a whole lot of people around you and you maybe didn't know everybody knew but you star c everybody knew but you star c that's some of you. And some of you already knew what was going on, but you said, the most high is going to tell me when I'm supposed to take action. My darling, you were supposed to take action a long time ago. Okay? Well, you know what? Everything is in the divine timing, so let me take that back. The time for you to take action is now or it's coming up. And baby, it's about to be a rude awakening for everybody involved because some of these people are about to be falling from grace in a way they could not imagine. It's about to be a humbling experience. They said, oh, you didn't want this little black girl in the position that was destined for her. You didn't want this little black boy in his position that was destined for him. You didn't want this Mexican, this Indian, this Chinese. You didn't want them in their positions. Oh, we're so sorry. We don't know what to tell you. We don't know what to tell you, but we're going to be taking our positions. We're going to be taking our inheritances from you, okay? And we're not sorry about you losing everything because you knew the consequences of coming up against us. Absolutely. Yeah, they're having to move on. I just saw the freaking six, yeah, the six of swords. <laughs> they're having to move on. Absolutely, move on. They say, yeah, you know what? Go somewhere else and go do that. Someone is about to be having a hard time finding a job everywhere they go. We're not hiring because the truth is going to be exposed about this person. Absolutely. Yep. Exposed. Someone is a freaking liar. I told you their king of pentacles was trying to act like he was advocating for you. He's not. He's a freaking liar, just like the rest of them. All of these people are liars. There may be someone that want to come in and act like they're your friend. They've been fighting for you, standing there or not. They're all liars. They're all good at manipulating. That's all they do. They've told a lie for so long, they're, they've started to believe it. Okay? Someone actually believes that their position belongs to, the, your position belongs to them. Like, they're living your life. They said, oh. I am the star C. Uh, hold on. Your energy is not giving star C. But if you want to believe that, we'll let you believe it. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll let you believe that. If it makes you happy, it makes us happy. If you like it, we love it for you. But we know you're not a star C. Just know that we know that you know that we know that you know that we know. Okay. <laughs> It's called balance. We're balancing this situation. Uh, the lies will be cleared out. There's a queen of uh, swords in here that's a freaking liar as heck. Everything is about to be exposed about this person. They've been doing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes, a lot of deceit. Someone is very cold hearted. Okay? Someone is very cold hearted. She's someone that's very critical of other people. 
but she's an airhead and stay calm. This woman don't know nothing. All she does is lie and manipulate. She makes it seem that she's advocating for people, but she's not. She has ulterior motives in everything that she does. This is someone who's false. And this woman has been so false for so long, she thinks that she's a truth teller. That's how sick this person is. That's how sick they are. But this is someone that criticizes other people. But if you bring anything negative up about her, you know, bring attention to her flaws. Oh, no, don't say that. They all of a sudden shut down. They're going to paint you out as a bad guy. They take offense to you, but take offense to what you're saying. But they can say all the nasty stuff they want about you and then smile in your face. This is one of those people in the communities where everyone, everyone will say, oh, they are someone of high moral character. I've never heard anything bad about them. That's because this person is a master at deceit. This is a master at deceit. Okay. These people have all caused problems for themselves and everyone else that they got involved in a situation that they should not have involved anyone. I'm telling you, it's a lot of characters in here all working together. Even the ones that think they're in the upright, they're not in the upright. They're working together, collaborating together. They have to farther this narrative because they stole something that they were not supposed to, something that didn't belong to them. And you best believe there's a head at this whole scheme walking around pretending like he don't know what's going on, but he knows, and he knows he's about to lose everything to a queen of cups. Everything. Position, luxury, privilege, connection, network, business opportunity. He's about to lose Lose everything. 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 Source is not playing. Collective, you're not playing either. Your ancestors are like, oh, I'm telling you, this person, you see this King of Pentacles? It's a donor. It's done. All these people are done. She's trapped. She's a liar. She's a false advocate. This is a false avenging angel. This person is being told to sit down. This could be like a, a, some type of law enforcement character, like a, but a feminine energy. She was put in a situation to bring balance into it, and she got bribed. She accepted the bribery. There's a law enforcement or PI person in here. She accepted bribery, okay? This person is a donor. Their pathway is not clear. They thought they had it figured out. They thought they could come to you, gaslight you. There's a king of pentacles in here that stole from you, thought he was all clear, all in the clear, losing everything. Your pathway is not clear, so you're headed to poverty. Someone may reach out to some of you and say, oh, I would like to meet with you. I was just wondering if we could meet and talk in person. Uh, if you're going to go meet with these people, you might want to be mindful. This person has to walk away. Walk away. They're going to have to walk away. They thought they were successful in stealing something from you, blocking you from receiving something. This person went above and beyond. If you live somewhere, they're, like let's say you're living in an apartment building, a duplex, a, some type of complex, whatever it is. They've reached out to this company. Some of these people have even bought the computer the uh, apartment buildings you're living in and they are in control of what goes on in this company, in this building, your mail, they have people going through it, redirecting your mail to another address. They go through it and decide which one you're going to get. If you receive any official mail that's giving you notices about some type of inheritance, something about a position, whatever, they're not letting you have that. There's a letter someone stole and it's going to be returned to you because it has information on there that you need to be in aware awareness of, okay? Things are being balanced out. All of these people are being exposed. Some of you, this is on like a grand scale. Let's talk about Hollywood, things like that. And some of you, these are like at the companies you're working in your nine to five. Just be mindful. Anyone coming towards you is not your friend. They're not your friend. They want to come in and breadcrumb you, okay? Make it clear to them, we are not friends. I need what belongs to me. I don't want anything, anything less. If you want to give me more, you're more than welcome to do that. But I'm not looking for that. What I'm looking for is what is what belongs to me. We're not friends. 
I'm not in love with you. I don't have any emotions for you. We're not friends because these people are masters of deceit, deception. Yeah, they, they're going to want to pull on your heartstring. They may send someone from your past that you had some type of connection with. Maybe it's a twin flame. You say, oh, well, she liked you. So I think you and her clicked really easily. So, you know, you may have an easier time with connecting with her, getting her to understand why we did what we did, and giving her this offer that's less than what she deserves. You don't have a soft spot for anyone collective. Someone is going to come in and give you what belongs to you, give you some type of letter, and that's it. There is no communication. You don't need to chit-chat with them. There's no courtesy that's needed because this is someone greedy just like the rest of them. Someone, someone is under some type of delusion that you and them have some type of soul twin connection. You don't. And it's sorrows, sorrows, sorrows for these people. Okay? There's, they are disappointed. Because, oh, honey. Honey. I love my ancestors just on time. They are disappointed because they thought they could steal from you, but they are disappointed, honey. They could not. They could not steal from you. They thought they had it all figured out. We're going to keep blocking their communications. We're going to keep interfering with their phone calls, text messages, emails, DMs until this sale goes through, until this will is finalized, right? Um, sources that, yeah, no, that's not how that's going to work. They're going to get what belongs to them. This is divinely orchestrated. You all are exposing your character. You didn't know you were being tested this whole time. So, uh, that was real cute. But he, she, they're still getting what belongs to them. Thank you. Now they may want to work with you. They're going to come in and say, hey, let's say this is a company. Hey, you know, we've been here for like 40 years, 30 years. We know the company very well. We're well acquainted with the employees. So we were wondering if maybe we can just stay in the company and we can all work together. You can work from behind the scenes and we can take care of all the, you know, in-betweens and the upfront business and things like that. So you're looking at them like, uh, yeah, my father, Source, you know, yeah, I have to talk to Source. And if Source says that, you know, we can do that, then we will. But if Source says no, then um, I have to get back to you on that. Because this is them. They serve two masters. Publicly, they serve Jesus Christ. But behind the closed doors, this is their masters. Okay? <clears throat> Arterial motives. Greed. People that overindulge. They don't care about other people but themselves. They don't care. Best believe some of these people, they know you all have been living in poverty in like living from paycheck to paycheck and they've been enjoying life at your dime. Okay? Then I say you were, honey, about to be in abundance. Some of you have been living in like. I want you to see how Source is balancing this out. If these are your enemies. This is you coming out of like and stepping into this energy. I want you to see how Source is balancing this out. Everything is being balanced out. As above, so below. Okay? Everything is being flipped. Okay? I want you to see how it's, it's lined up. Their characters are being exposed to you. Exposed to you. There's a crazy queen of cups in here that's impulsive as hell. This may be someone that thinks that they can just come in and pick a fight with you. And you're just looking at, honey, uh, I'm going to need you to grow up. Because at this point of your life, if you're still out here trying to fight people, I don't think there's hope for you. But you, you're going to have to take that energy elsewhere because we don't have time for it. Anyways... <laughs> collective you are being told to go for it whatever action you have been guided to take source is saying go for it this has to do with your abundance has to do with you acquiring what belongs to you people will play mind games with you try to com confuse you you're not confused you know what's going on people stole from you they took from you they cheated you these are greedy people. They feel entitled to what belongs to you. So source is telling you to go and get what, what's yours. 
But when you get there, what are they going to say? We don't know what you're talking about. He didn't even know you that well. He didn't even know you. Why would he leave you in a well? Why would he give you this? He, we don't know what you're talking about. You're so crazy. Yeah, you're not crazy. You're being guided to take actions and you need to do that. Trust the Holy Spirit. Move by faith. Move on faith, not sight. Walk by faith, not by sight. I'm telling you, take action. There's a whole institution that knows what's going on. They've all been collaborating behind the scenes. Every single person, if, they, if there's someone in here that didn't collaborate with them, it's someone that stood by and watched it all happen. And they did nothing. There were bystanders and there were active participants. Those were the two. And there were people that just didn't know about it, but that would be like lower level employees or whoever, whether it's an organization. Yeah, that's what that is. These people have legal issues coming in. Problems. That's how they had it all figured out. I'm telling you, you're being guided to take action, but do it in a modest way. Stay calm. Do not overreact. Do not react to nothing they're saying because they are masters of deception, but your ancestors are good at war. Okay? You're the queen of the queen of wands. You're a warrior. You're stronger than you're, these people. You're stronger than they expected. They thought you would be done and out by now, but this is you. You're taking a hold of that bull's horn. It was like, mm, 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 mm. honey, no, 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 no. What we are not going to do is steal from me. I want what's mine. These people are wondering how you know what you know. Yes, they're telling you to take action and put an end to this chapter. Put an end, you're putting an end to all of them. And it's not by your grace, but by the might and grace of the source. You are being guided. Your ancestors have already called judgment in this situation. Say, hold up. You said that if our child incarnates and agrees to heal the masses and look after a community and do what's right, they will receive this abundance. And they've been doing their part, right? They've done the healing work on their end, on themselves, in the, internally and externally. And now it's time for them to receive what's theirs. And sources that, oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I agree. It is most definitely time. So you need to be brave. Take bold actions, collective, and put an end to this nonsense. Put an absolute end. There's a woman in here. That, there's a woman here that's working with your, what do we even call this person? Your enemy? The person that stole your inheritance, the person that stole a position, the person that stole from you, basically. There's a woman in here that's working with him. When you go to your location, she knows. You're going to see the embarrassment on her face because she knows that you know what she did. This is someone that moves in their masculine energy. That is why she's showing up in the quick king of swords energy. But she knows there's nothing else she can do. She has to put an end. She has to do what's right. He has to let go. He has to be removed from his position. And it has to be returned to you. There's something about a position, a building, a company, a home. There was a lot stolen from someone. And this woman, she knows. She was supposed to bring balance into this situation, but she was bribed and she accepted the bribery. Either they promised her some type of position or they promised her some money and she went along with it. She's going to be playing devil's advocate, but she's not your friend. Okay? Karmics are very sophisticated in their own way. Not sophisticated enough that we don't figure out their deceit, but they're committed to their uh, sophisticated deceit. However, we want to word that. It's complicated as karmics are. But she absolutely knows. I'm telling you, she was part of this nonsense. She was part of it. It's a whole group. He's been bribing. She's been bribing behind the scenes. And she's going to come in and act like she didn't know what was going on. She does. They all do. They, I'm telling you, it's a tower. 
is a tower for these people. They're about to be losing a whole lot more than they would have lost if they would have just done the right thing. This was a test. And they all failed miserably, miserably because of greed. And the money they were trying to block you from receiving, they're not going to be receiving. They're about to lose everything. Some of these people thought if they played nice with you when you were around them, that things were just going to blow over. You would never find out what was going on. But I get a feeling a lot of you knew something was going on, but it just wasn't time yet. But it's time now. It's time. It is time. This chapter is over. This chapter is over. It's a brand new passionate beginning. Yeah, absolutely. I'm telling you. Oh, it's not looking good for that King of King of Pentacles. Dang. Ooh, baby, it's not looking good for that King of Pentacles. And whoever he was working for, working with, is not looking good for them either. Mm, mm, mm. They may want to send someone in to trap you in some type of toxic love. It's a no-no. Say, so, oh, I'm your soul twin. You and I are meant to be together. They don't even know what a soul twin is. I'm your twin flame. You and I are meant to be together. You know, uh, no, I don't think you are. I don't feel any type of energy. I don't feel no type of resonation with you. You and I don't resonate on any type of vibration. No, nothing. Nothing. Okay? We are not so twins. Yeah. These people are living in fear, darling. They know you know. They know that you know that they know that you know that they know that you know that they know that you know. And <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? I'm heartbroken. Lord have mercy. Let me quit playing around and get into my read. Let's keep on going. Okay? These people don't know what to expect. I said, how much? How much does this star see now? Why did I do this? I've lost my money. I'm about to lose everything else. Why did I do this? Why did I try to steal from the star seed? Lord, someone is crying. Someone is crying. I'm telling you, five of wands again. These people are fighting. And they know that you know that they're fighting. Let them fight. But what's yours will be returned to you. These people have problems coming in that they cannot even imagine. Yeah, people trying to play mind games. Like, come on now. How old are we? You're doing all of this for money? Come on. I'm telling you. Someone is broken hearted that a decision has been made to return to... I'm telling you, to return to you what belongs to you. You're going to be receive, receiving a message, good news. And they've been interfering with this letter for a long time. I don't know how many copies of this letter has been sent out. But you're going to be receiving it. Someone is disappointed. They said, I spent all this money to cause all this illusion. And this person is still receiving what's there. It's still going to be abundant. What the heck did I do all of that for? Right? Someone has affected their finances in a way that they cannot recover. Right? They didn't want someone, they didn't want some type of love connection coming into play as well. It's still coming into play. So at the end of the day, they just wasted their money. You're still going to receive what's your heart, Starcy Collective, Divine Beings. You're still going to receive what's yours. So someone ended themselves. For you. You didn't even have to lift a finger. Someone literally finished themselves. They're falling from grace. They used to live on the east, east side in the deluxe apartment in the sky. And now they're falling from grace, moving to the south side. In a two-bedroom bedroom with, with the whole family. Someone is going is about to be going through a whole lot that they could have avoided. But someone is a narcissist, is what I'm hearing. A narcissist. They don't know when to let go. 
They don't know when to grow up. They're too greedy to care. And this greed is what's leading to their downfall. Because a decision has been made to give you what's yours. All interferences are being removed. Because these people don't want the kind of problems that are coming in for them. They saw you. They said, oh, it's just one little irrelevant person. One little black girl. One little Indian boy. One little... Chinese boy, one little black boy, whatever it was. Oh, they're nothing. They're irrelevant. The source said, oh, really? Yeah, just wait. <laughs> All of this is about to unravel in a way you cannot expect. Divine timing. We're bringing balance into this situation. Okay? Balance. So you can do all the blocking you want. You can keep paying people all the money you want. But guess what? <laughs> They're still going to get what's theirs. Whether it's a love connection, a business con a business opportunity, a position. They're still going to get what's theirs. Okay? It has to be. For some of you, it's a business thing. Like you have a whole empire and people have you live you some, living some type of raggedy life. And when you find out what the heck has been going on, they know they're done. A lot of these higher ups in these companies, in these institutions, they're about to be falling from grace. Falling from grace. This is something, whatever you're receiving, is something you asked the most high for a long time ago. A long time ago. This was part of your soul contract. And when you incarnated, there's some point in your life you are possibly going through a tumultuous time. And you may have prayed to the Most High and asked them for something. Or maybe you were working on your manifestation skills and you manifested some type of abundance, some type of union, and it's coming into being. You already have this in the spirit realm. And now you're about to have it in the physical realm. And your enemies are burning. I'm telling you, they're burning. Is it what? What? Yeah, no more illusions. I'm telling you. This woman, this liar, took a risk to cause illusions. She cannot anymore. She's been doing it for a long time. This is a queen of swords in the reverse. She's been doing this for a long time, causing a lot of illusions, criticizing someone. And this person thought they were about to come and have closure with you. They cannot. They said, I'm going to go talk to the empress and see if maybe we can work things out. Which empress? Which empress? Right? Someone is going through some type of divorce as well. And said, yeah, I can't be with you anymore. I want to go be with my empress. And the empress is looking at, um, who is he talking about? I hope it's not me. Chai, I don't, I don't want any part of this wahala. Please, leave me out of it. Okay? It's a whole lot going on. All of these people are being exposed. Someone took a calculated risk to tell a lot of lies, cause a lot of illusions, but they cannot. They thought they were stepping out on faith, taking the right risk, doing the right thing for them and the whole clan, only for it to come back and bite them in the behind. Okay? So, you're still headed in the right direction, Collective. Things are still moving in your favor. And someone, and I don't know who this is, <clears throat> they're falling from grace. There was some type of manipulation to make someone look like an empress that was not an empress. Uh, someone may have partnered up with this person under an illusion. Um, but, yeah, it's not happening anymore. He said, no, nah, I don't think you're an empress. You're not giving up the empress vibe. Like, in the beginning, you're doing really good pretending to be an empress. But I don't know what happened. You kind of fell off. I don't know what you were doing before. You may need to get back to that. And they're like, well, I don't remember what I was doing before. Can y'all help me figure it out? That's when you know it's not an empress when they forget how to be an empress. Come on. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles down here. This has to do with the business. Uh, honey. Hmm. It's about to be, I'm telling you, balance, justice, victory is coming in. Someone is about to be going to jail. Someone has legal issues coming in. They thought they were under the radar. Nothing was being seen. 
Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not going to say too much about that King of Pentacles in a reverse. But darling, it's about to be a hard knock. Listen, I said hard knock life in. Yeah. Yeah, it pops out the nine of swords. It's about to be a hard knock life. It's a hard knock life for him. It's a hard knock life for them. We can't say getting treated wickedly, wickedly because they are the ones being wicked. Mm, mm, mm. And this is karma. This is balance. Everything they're about to go through is justice. Listen, I was about to say it's justice and the justice card is at the bottom. Everything these people are about to go through is justice. Every single one of them is justice. I don't think they realize what they committed themselves to. People that are greedy are very foolish. They're very foolish. It does not make sense to be this foolish for materialism, for, me, for, for superficial things. It does not make sense. I've never been able to figure out why some people are so greedy and foolish over something that can be here today and gone tomorrow. You can be rich today and poor as heck tomorrow. I've never understood that. I've tried my whole life. I, I, I promise you all, I've tried my whole life to understand why some people are so greedy. And it's never made sense to me. I've never been able to rationalize it. I can't make logic off of it. I don't get it. Why some people are so wicked, why they're so greedy. I understand we are all going through an ascension process and where some of us, I mean, we're all at a different level, but the extent that some people go with their greed and wickedness, I've never been able to understand. It's like they have no limits. They don't care who they're hurting. Even the people they're working with, they will still go up against them just to secure their ill-gotten gains. That I've never understood that. Someone has legal issues coming in. He may be living in denial, but honey, you can live in denial all you want. Denial is a river in Egypt, but you are not in Egypt, honey. I'm telling you, problems. Someone is defeated. Every last one of you are defeated. That false love someone is coming in with, it's not going nowhere. There's a mother figure here, wife, whoever this is, she's going through her ending. She was expecting to have some type of victory over someone. She thought she had control of the situation. She did not. Someone don't know what they bargained for. Someone does not know what they were bargaining for. There's going to be information provided about something a mother figure was doing. She's in a reverse. Some type of action she took and it led to an ending for her. You may not be aware of this. Someone's mother could be involved. Your mother could be involved. Uh, someone's mother, someone's wife, baby mama, whoever it is. But they have legal issues coming in. Someone either had victory in the past from stealing from some of you and they thought they were going to have victory again. It's not going that way. There's, there's an ending coming for each and every person involved. No matter how small or big their part was in this story, it's an ending coming for them. When, when karmics are, when they have an upper hand, you need to watch how they are acting when they have that upper hand. When people have a little bit of power, you need to see how it is they behave. Because a lot of the times, I'm telling you, someone is not doing too well. A lot of the times, they don't know they're being tested. They say, yeah, I'm giving you this, this little bit of power. Let's see how you handle it. And I'm going to bring my star seed in your energy in a humble manner. 
They're going to be poor in material, material wealth, but they're going to be abundant in spiritual wealth. And not very long from now, they're going to have in, in the physical what they already have in the spirit. Let's see how you're going to treat them before they have this material wealth, right? And when you meet the star see, when you meet these people, they're in this energy. They have all the money in the world. They don't care about love. Love is irrelevant to them. They can buy whatever they want. And sometimes they feel like they can, they can buy whoever they want. And source is looking at them and say, okay. And you're in their energy, Starcy, and they're overlooking you, maybe mistreating you, telling lies and things like that. They have some type of vendetta against you because you're from a humble background. You don't care too much about the flashy things in life. You don't care about the name brand, having the latest car, whatever it is. You don't care about any of that. You're not even bothered by how these people live. You're just minding your own business, but they're bothered by you because guess what? They're insecure on the inside because you mirror or reflect something they don't have, they don't possess. So you're a problem. So there, some of them will make it their mission to eradicate you. Not knowing the whole time they're being watched. They're being tested. And at the end of the day, what happens? They'll go from this to this. They're sick dying, unable to recover, something, okay? Someone went from having everything to this. They can barely survive, is what I'm hearing. Someone is struggling. And someone else in here wants to come to you and bring some type of betrayal to your awareness. I'm telling you, oh man. Some type of betrayal to your awareness. The thing you don't know, but you know. Everything, all of their secrets are being exposed. Things are being looked over. Balance is being brought in a situation in this matter. If you've been waiting for a long time, it's okay. It was divinely orchestrated. But source is intervening with this message. It says, it's time for this person to receive this message. Give them their letter. Give them their letter. If you don't want to lose any more than you've lost, give them their letter. Because we're done playing around with you. We've been sitting back and waiting for you to do the right thing. You won't do it. Your ego is too big. And for some of them, sources that we understand you accepted a bribery. And you have some type of contract to fulfill. We don't give a crap about your contract. You're either going to give this person the letter or you're going to be losing a lot. Which one is it going to be? Lose your freedom or give them the letter? So we're about to see how all of this is about to play out for each and every one of us involved. Because all of us star seed, divine beings, we have all different situations going on. And we're about to all see how this is going to play out. How committed they are to their king of pentacles in the reverse that's been orchestrating all of this behind the scenes. We're about to see what's going to happen when they tell them, oh, you're being arrested for forgery. You're being arrested for committing federal crimes invading someone's privacy let's see how committed how loyal they're going to be to this person when they tell them you're going to be locked up for 10 years for what you did you're going to be locked up for 15 years for what you did you're going to be locked up for 25 years 34 years someone in here is about to play dumb in court oh i have a heart problem your honor i would not be able to make it in court can i can i just be on parole no honey you should have thought about your heart problems when you were taking actions against the star seed. Now you remember that you have heart problems because you're about to receive a sentence. That's because they know they're not going to survive in prison. This is someone old. Someone old. They thought they, could, they, they, thought they were invincible and above the law because these are people that have corrupt officials connected to them. But these corrupt officials will not be able to help any of you. They have their own fish to fry. 
and yours obviously is irrelevant to them. You call them, hey, Bob, I need I need help with this. Can Bobby said, who, who are you? I don't know nothing you're talking about. Never seen you a day in my life. Bob don't want no problems. Bob has his own problems he's taking care of. He has to deal with. Bob is removing himself from this situation. Bob is that, um, please keep your problems to yourself. Get somebody else to do it. Bob don't want to be involved. Tower. Maybe you paid Bob a lot of money in the past to do something to a star seed and Bob is like, oh yeah, I didn't know this was the energy you were messing with. I didn't know you were doing all of this behind the scene. You just told me to do this little thing. I didn't know you were into all that other stuff. I don't want to be involved anymore. Okay. Bob is like, I have my wife and kids to take care of. I got to make sure my daughter's tuition, cottage funds are taken care of. Mm -hmm. Bob, you have a little bit more questions and concerns to be worried about than that. But every single person in here, just so you know, you have problems coming. And it's not something you are going to be able to get out of. So you might want to start taking actions to correct things. You all feel invincible. No one is invincible when it comes to the universe. No one is invincible. Not even us star seeds or divine beings. When we F up, the universe will punish us. It'll tell us, hey, yeah, 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 we love you, but th that was unnecessary. We didn't tell you to do that. Come here. You know that when your parents tell you come here, you're like, oh, shoot, I know I don't F up. I'm about to get my behind whoop. That's how the universe is with us. We're not, we're not, uh, 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 what's the word? We're not excused from discipline, but people think we are because we're so much at a high level that we know what to do and what not to do, and we understand the consequences for our actions. So we're not going to get out of our way to do anything to you, malicious. We're not going to be malicious to you without a cause. We don't even have to be malicious to you, to be honest with you. We just already know the natural uh, 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 cycle of things. The natural balance, the natural routine routine of things. You put this out, it's coming back. You put this out, it's coming back. It's a circle. It's, you saw that a that, that, uh, uh, wheel of fortune? It's a circle. That is the natural flow of the universe. That is how things flow. It's always in a circle. So things are always coming back around. So if you started off here bad with bad energy, guess what? This energy is going in a circle and eventually it's going to come right back to you. If you started here in a good energy, right back to you, okay? And as it goes, the reason why they said three times four, ten times four is picking up speed. There's momentum. That's why it's stronger when it comes back because it comes back a little harder because it has picked up speed. By the time it gets here, it starts up slow and then it starts picking up and push. And you're like, gosh, dang it. Huh, I didn't send that kind of energy out. Why is it so strong when it comes back? That's because it picked up momentum. Okay? It picked up momentum. Be careful with the energy you put out. I'm telling you, be careful with the energy you put out. Everyone here had ulterior motives. Everyone here may want to come to you and say something, but they're not going to tell you the part they play in it. Their friends are going to tell you what part they play in it. You don't really care because you already know who did what, who was involved. And if you don't know, that's, that, that's irrelevant. Source wants you to focus on your destiny. What's being given back to you? Your inheritance, whatever it is. Job, position, money, house, car, business, whatever is being given to you. That's your concern. Okay? Don't go in there trying to go back and forth with these people. It's entertainment. It's a waste of your time. They're not going to tell you the truth. These are liars. These are greedy people. Liars. All they care about is money. No one in here is your friend. No one in here was thinking about doing the right thing. Because they're busted, that's why they're doing the right thing. Even though they're going to be doing the right thing now, they're still not going to be upfront with you. Because these are people committed to a cause. That's deception. 
and when you get there, Source will tell you exactly what you need to do. I'm telling you, Source will tell you exactly what you need to do. You're being elevated. So this is the time, the best time in your life to be more connected to Source than ever before. Cut out the distractions and I'm speaking to you all and I myself is, is taking my advice. I'm taking my advice. Um, I've been cutting out distractions in my life. Friends, families, I don't care who you are. If you don't have any good intentions for me, I don't care how long I've known you. If you gave birth to me, you didn't. You don't have good intentions for me. I'm not going out of my way to have a relationship with you. If I've tried, tried, and tried, and it's not working, and it's not meant to be. Obviously, you fulfill your purpose. You fulfill your contract in my life. So, uh, goodbye. Best wishes to you. But someone, someone thinks he can come in and steal from you. He will not be able to do that. Someone is being so blocked out of your energy. It doesn't even make sense. It's like, this person used to be right here. I used to be able to talk to this person, high five them and everything, laugh with them. And now I can't even be in their energy. So I'm just like, no, we were testing you when you did have contact with this person and you failed miserably. You failed miserably. You, you chose your dark side. Oh my God, this, this keeps popping up. People are burdened. People are worried because they know what's coming. They know what com what's coming. Their savior is falling from grace. He's losing everything. He stole what he has. He may not have told them exactly how he got what he got, but a brother is falling from grace. He's losing everything. Could be facing legal issues coming up with his partner in crime. And these two are friends. Maybe this one didn't know what this one was up to, but I highly doubt it. They all knew. They were all working together. And this one made promises to this one. Say, hey, if you do this, listen, you'll be second in command. We'll be running this place like it's ours. He's like, oh, yeah, of course, man, I got you. You already know I got you. And then, you know, the truth started coming out little by little. He told him to come in and deceive you. Pretend like he loved you, cared about you. And you said, um, yeah, because you're intuitively guided, you just saw them from a distance. He said, I wish this mother ever will come in my energy trying to pretend to be my twin flame. I'm going to hurt your feelings. That ego that you have that's bigger than you, larger than life, I'm going to hurt you in that ego. They all knew. They all knew. They all knew, collective. I'm telling you, and you knew too. <laughs> Source is funny as hell. Source is, yeah, they knew, and you knew, and we knew, and now we're bringing balance in the situation. And there will be people from your past, each of you trying to connect back with you. And tell you how much they miss you, they love you, they're sorry for what they did. Some of you, your family members are into covens and you don't even know they're into cults and things of that nature. They sold their souls a long time ago to the devil and they cannot get that sucker back. I mean, you can't literally sell your soul, but you all know what we mean. They trap themselves in something they cannot get out of. And people don't take those contracts seriously. The thing is just this lifetime. No, those go into other lifetimes. You're binding yourself to people. You sign a contract that you're part of that community. You're going to be part of that community again in the next lifetime. And you are going to be indulging in the same low vibrational activity and passing that on to your next generation. This is why a lot of us starseeds, earth, uh, earth angels, divine beings, we don't even make an effort to be friends with people because we don't want to be bonded to nothing and no one. This here, this is not us. That energy don't work for us. We don't do those kinds of things. It just does not work for us. We are free beings. We ch cherish our freedom. Yes, you can call us weird. We live in La La Land. We want to thank you for that. That is a compliment to us. You know, you, have you ever met someone you tried to insult, but everything you end up saying to them, to them is a compliment? Yes, that's us. You call us weird. We're like, thank you. Thank you so much. I do definitely guide my own path. I am in control of my own destiny. Thank you. 
you tell us we live in La La Land. Oh my goodness, thank you. I am very much imaginative. My imagination is very much above the average. It's, it's, it, it is amazing. It's fantabulous, okay? And I connect with Source very well. Is that you're too much love and light? Oh, well, well, thank you. I've never wanted to be a disgusting person. I will hate to be the one that's being mean and nasty to people. So thank you. I am all love and light. <laughs> but try the tr try me, and you will catch these spiritual hands. Okay. Remember, I direct my own path. So we can either do this the easy way or the hard way. You want to catch these hands, you can catch them, catch them too. You want to catch these uh, 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 blessings, you can catch them too. Whichever one you want, let us know. We are willing to give. We are very giving. We're generous. Catch this spiritual work or catch these spiritual blessings. What do you say? Okay. Most of these people are watching you all move on with your life, taking charge of your life, claiming what's yours, relying on source to guide you in the right direction. You, you know, just staying calm and things like that, and they're pissed off. Pissed off. Someone knows that you're not just a queen of pentacles, but you are a high priestess, and you know what's going on they know you know everybody knows and they are disappointed because they thought they were doing a good job at hiding something for me honey you know they thought they were doing a good job at hiding something people thought you didn't know what was going on but the whole time you knew and you just sat back and watched everybody take action they said oh you too i didn't expect that and this was to strengthen you because there are people involved in these scenarios that you would not expect to be this easily misled. All of these people, people are mother figures, grandparents, people go to church, and they all participated. And you're just watching and say, wow, you, 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 you too? My goodness, everybody? Oh. And then when it's time, honey, your victory is here. They don't understand how you won. All these people are going to be pissed off as heck. You're successful at defeating your enemies. You're successful at defeating them. There's nothing they can do. It's over. The game is over and they know it. It's over. Anything they're doing now is just desperation and delusion. I don't know how committed these people are to this person or to their cause, whatever it is, it's over. It is over for all of them. They seal their own fate. Mm. Look at that. All the possibilities, you could have been friends with these people, share with these people, but simply because of either greed, jealousy, bigotry, racism, they turn on you. You didn't do anything to these people. It was just hatred, really, if you think about it. This Ten of Pentacles keeps coming up. This has to do with a business. I'm going to say that like, say that like I don't, you know... Like, I don't already know what my spirit is telling me. Like, I don't know what source is already telling me. It, this has to do with a, a, with a business, an inheritance, a, 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 a position. You have some type of inheritance someone stole from you. A group of people got together, collaborated, so you wouldn't receive it. You're going to receive it. The game is over. It's the end of the road. It's the final countdown. To the doom doom. It's the final countdown. It's like, yeah, it, it's over. It's, uh, yeah, it's over. It's over. Someone may want to come in and apologize to you, but it's too late. For, it's too late to apologize. It's too late. It's too late to apologize. Yeah, yeah. yeah 
it's too late to apologize. This is not the time for apologies. This is time for returning what belongs to another person that you stole. No one cares about your apologies because we know it's not genuine. There's ulterior motive. Your apologies are not genuine. You all, you all don't care what you did. You just care that you're losing your luxury. So don't even don't bother apologizing. Okay? Don't bother. Don't bother. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I promise you will never see me cry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, and don't bother. I'll be fine. Shakira is a um amazing singer. I remember I had my time when I was obsessed with Shakira's music. Lord help me, I used to listen. I thought I was Spanish and everything. Knew all her little Spanish lyrics. It's like, okay. And then I grew up like, girl, you're not Spanish, you're African. You need to chill with this Spanish music. And I used to listen to that song, Despacito. Despacito. I'm like, girl, you need to get a grip. But that's culture is a beautiful thing. Why? I feel like if culture was not important, we wouldn't have all these different continents all these different cultures around us. I mean, why not embrace? I'm saying that because obviously someone in here, a group of people in here are bigots. My people, let's learn from the mistakes of karmics. Culture is a beautiful thing. Diversity is a beautiful thing. We all have our moments where we talk about the other race, how they do this and how they do that, but they are there to teach us or show us a different aspect of life. We're all the same at the end of the day, just having different experiences. Culture is a beautiful thing. That's Sometimes it's what sets you apart from other people, your difference. The fact that you are from Africa, the fact that you are from uh, Asia, you're from Europe, South America and art not Antarctica. People don't live in Antarctica besides researchers. Australia, all of these different places. That's what makes you unique. Culture is a beautiful thing. And people that are closed-minded, they don't understand the disadvantage that they are doing to themselves. They're causing themselves. Some of these people will even travel to other countries and not even embrace the cultures they're just there for a business trip they don't know nothing about what's going on in their country that's what i love about africans i'm just going to say africans because i can be in ghana and i'll know what's going on in congo i can be in congo and i know what's going on in south africa because culture is a beautiful thing for us it's important for us we don't just embrace our culture we embrace our neighbors the communities around us but here in the u.s you can live next door to your neighbor for 40 years and not know their name it's it's sad it's disappointing we need to learn how to embrace other people just because someone is not superficial does not mean they're judging you or they don't see why you are that way this everyone is different some people are into material stuff and other people were not. We don't care. As long as we have our basic necessities, that's all we care about. We don't care about Louis Vuitton, Dior, or whatever else. Tommy Hilfiger, Calvin Klein. We don't care about none of that stuff. Right? We just care about what's on the inside of people. Because we know at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Nothing else does. Who you are on a core level, that's all that matters at the end of the day. But some people, they will never understand that. No matter how you preach that message, they will never understand it because this is not the lifetime where they're meant to comprehend that message. This is the lifetime where they're supposed to be superficial and greedy and entitled and a bunch of narcissists wasting their, their years, wasting their lives, thinking they're acting on principle. Do you even know what principle means? They want to believe that they're diplomatic. 
tactful. Don't know what any of those words mean. Even if they did, they will find a way to manipulate it so it can fit what it is they're doing. That's how karmics work. Anyways, source, what is your... Uh, okay, thank you, source. We're going to do one more. Oh, okay, so we're getting two more. Source has a lot to say to us today. So I said, like, hold on. <laughs> I want to say this. I want to say that. And I want you to know this as well. We have 888. Okay. So, uh, who, Lord have mercy. It's been a long day. It has been a long day. Wow. Anyways, we have 888, 24, and it's 6. Okay? Has to do with healing, moving on, sailing under karma waters, things of that nature. Right? It said, as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. I am abundant. Absolutely. We have 21 here, three. It says, you are highly creative creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything you do, from your sparkling conversations to your most prized projects. I am inspiring. Please claim that. And then we have 333, three, three, which is nine, completion as well as something is done. So we have 369. Wow. And I think, what's that? That sums up to 12, which is three, right? Yeah. Okay. So 333 three, three, and uh, it's nine. It said, you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. Live your truths and be a positive light to others. I am powerful. Absolutely. Okay. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. Don't be shy to come back and watch the YouTube channel again. Goodbye for now.